As a reporter, he brought home the news from 60 countries, from 12 wars. Geraldo. Weekdays at 5 on Channel 6. Across America tonight, war in the Gulf. Increasing talk of the Allies' ground offensive. How soon will it come? How costly will it be? The latest from Saudi Arabia. And a look back at people who survived chemical warfare of the past. Gas is there for life. A gas, it, it, you, one never recovers from gas. CBS News, this is America Tonight, with Charles Carroll in New York and Leslie Stahl in Washington. Good evening. President Bush said today he doubts that Saddam Hussein can be defeated from the air alone. The president is sending his two top military advisors to Saudi Arabia to make an assessment. When Defense Secretary Cheney and Chairman Powell of the Joint Chiefs of Staff return, the president will decide whether and when to send in the Marines and the Army. You certainly get the feeling that a big invasion to retake Kuwait is drawing near. Let's ask Eric Engberg in Saudi Arabia if he has the same feeling. Eric? Yes, I do, Charles. I would say that based on what we've been able to see of the U.S. and Allied buildup, that uh, an invasion of Kuwait is coming within two to three weeks. Here's one reason why. Supply officers, you know, talk about the three Bs in a military action. That's bullets, band-aids, and beans. Those three Bs...